Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am heading to Wendy's to try their new ghost pepper line they just came out with. So they have two new things, which is a chicken sandwich and some fries. And I'm going to tell you guys what is in this chicken sandwich first. It says it comes with three layers of ghost pepper heat, including ghost pepper seasoned fried onions, ghost pepper American cheese, and ghost pepper ranch lettuce and tomatoes. This already sounds so hot because normally we get only one layer, but this comes with three, so... I'm scared. The sandwich alone costs $6.69 and then we have the ghost pepper fries that only comes with ghost pepper sauce on top and this costs $2.89. It's always a hit or miss when it comes to spicy stuff at these fast food places. So let's head on to Wendy's, see if they're all talk, if they're spicy. I ordered the new chicken sandwich, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Just making sure. Thank you. We're gonna bring it right out to you. Okay, okay, so I completely forgot to press record when I was ordering the food. But I pretty much ordered the ghost pepper fries, ghost pepper chicken sandwich, these chili and then pup fries and then bacon, cheese, baked potato. And she actually asked me if I wanted the classic or the spicy and the ghost pepper chicken sandwich. I didn't even know there was two versions, but that wouldn't make sense because like ghost pepper, you know, it's supposed to be spicy in general, but she said that there's two versions, but the total ended up being $22.63. I was also debating on ordering the strawberry frosty. They just bring it back as well. And I said maybe next time, I don't know, I'm not much of a frosty person. But let me know if you guys like the frosty, the strawberry one, if it's that good, because supposedly it's like everyone's favorite. Hi, thank you. Okay, you guys, I have my food here already. I literally came back from Mexico not even 24 hours ago. And you guys, I had the best time ever. The food, the vibes, everything was great. If I had the option to teleport back, I would in a heartbeat. It was so nice. And I want to give a huge shout out to Surfshark VPN for getting me the best deals, getting me the best flights, the best hotels at a great price. Because I don't know if you guys know this, but your location and your device actually plays a big factor in the prices that you're going to get on your hotels and your flights. So with Surfshark, I was able to mask it all and hide my identity and get the best price for my Mexico trip and get the best hotel so it came in super clutch not only does it help me get the best deals but Surfshark VPN is a virtual private network that protects me from spying hides my IP address stops ads and malware and even notifies me if someone steals my data I am all about my security especially now that it feels like someone is always watching you like for example if I search up an air fryer on Google and I'm just browsing and then all of a sudden I open up Facebook I open up Instagram I open up YouTube and I just see air fryers left and right on my feed it feels like these companies are shoving air fryers on my throat and all I did was Google air fryer. You're a victim. Every minute that you're online, these companies record exactly what you're doing. It is scary and gross. So that is why Surfshark is a necessity when it comes to your privacy and actually being able to browse the internet in peace. What's best is that with Surfshark, I can protect an unlimited amount of devices just with one account. So you're able to share your account with your friends and your family and you're going to end up paying less than a large Wendy's fries every single month just to get a more secure and private online life and not only that but personally my favorite feature and i feel like it's going to be everyone's favorite is the fact that we can watch netflix or any content in general from all around the world for example if there's a show i want to watch and it's not on netflix us but let's say it's in netflix uk all i have to do is turn on surfshark vpn press that my location is in uk and that is it i get all the movies and all the shows from netflix uk there are so many good benefits of using surfshark but most importantly you get to protect your privacy your debit card numbers your your passwords your whole identity so before this exclusive search for vpn deal runs out click the link in the description box and enter the code kathy to get an extra three months free at surfshark.deals slash kathy you also get a money back guarantee if you need it which i know you won't you guys this is going to protect everything so don't miss out click the link down below okay you guys i am getting nervous because i actually smell the hot sauce and i didn't even open this bag yet but here we have the fries it's already spilling they gave me a whole bunch of hot sauce like this does not look dry at all so i am so happy that my wendy's actually came through here i have some of their pub fries their bacon and cheese potato some of their chili and then last but not least the sandwich right here okay so this is what the sandwich looks like here we have the ranch the lettuce underneath you have the onions and then you have the cheese and then the chicken. I am going in with the fries first. Before I forget, I actually have some Big Mac sauce. I wanted to try. I heard it was new to at McDonald's, but let's try these fries first. Oh my gosh. It actually doesn't smell that hot. Mmm. 
Look how much sauce. Okay. Spice level, three. <laughs> three. Oh my gosh, I put a lot of hot sauce on this. I'm just missing my ranch because I would honestly eat these with ranch. But. Mm. Spice level 3 out of 10. Doesn't give me ghost pepper vibes at all. This is so, this is like less than a mild when you order like wings or whatever that are supposed to be mild it's less than that not even a medium i just prefer this with some sauce but i eat sauce with everything like with my fries but before i move on to the sandwich i'm just gonna have a few bites of this baked potato it is calling my name it is so good with all this cheese Okay, now time for this chicken sandwich. I feel no spice. Okay, now it's coming. Now it's coming a little bit. Okay, I've had hotter than this. The Burger King one, definitely so much hotter. Damn, and this was supposed to be like three layers. This is like a six out of 10. The chicken is so dry, I don't even know if I'm eating cardboard or chicken. I'm gonna take one more bite, but then I'm gonna have to add my mayo. I'm going to try with this Big Mac sauce. Really thought... I was honestly nervous for this. I really thought it was going to be the, BK, uh, the Burger King one. Bro, the Burger King one it was so bad. But no. This is literally a 6 out of 10. Oh my gosh, this Big Mac sauce is so good. Woo! That is so good. Mmm. It literally makes me want to go to um, McDonald's and get a Big Mac. That's probably like what they're what they were trying to get out. Like you try this Big Mac sauce and then you just want to get a Big Mac. So you end up ordering a Big Mac on top of everything you ordered. It is so good. Mm. Now we're talking.
so good. <clears throat> okay, let me finish these up. Whew. So like I would say, you guys, I just came back from Mexico and it was so nice. I wish I could go back. I am feeling that Every time something ends that you look forward to, I don't know about you guys, but I have like that little like days of depression. Where I'm like, wow, all that planning, all those days of excitement, like it's almost here. Three days off, five days off. All of that is over in like a blink of an eye. It's like, wow, all that waiting, all that like excitement for it to be over in like two seconds. I am literally so envious of the people that that can go on vacations like every two weeks or every other week. They like are done with the vacation and they're already planning their next one. I'm super jealous. It's like a life goal. Oh my gosh. This is literally so hot. It's burning. And I can't wait for it to get cold. I guess let's move on to the to the um potato. One thing I will say though, my favorite Mexican plate that I've had, that, that I always get here when I go to restaurants, is the chimichanga. So I went over there, and I'm like, yes, I'm gonna try chimichanga, like an original one, and authentic, you know? So I go, to, I get over there, and I don't know if this is my mistake, but I went to a restaurant and, uh, that's in the airport. So they sell, the price was like super expensive, like for two drinks and two chimichangas, it cost $150. Like that's how much we paid. And the two drinks was a Captain Morgan, I think. It was like a, a cup. It wasn't even an actual like large cup. It was just a regular drink. And then we ordered two chimichangas and it came out to $150. I know that was my fault. Like I'm ordering at an airport restaurant, but holy crap. But that's not what I'm trying to get at. What I'm trying to get at is the fact that I ordered the chimichanga. First of all, I wasn't even on the menu. I had to verbally ask the waiter. And then she comes back. It looked like a fried donut. That's what it looked like. But it was obviously like long. It was in a donut shape. It gave me fried donut vibes. I still ate it. But I was like, I was expecting it to be better than what I have here. I just wanted a good old, you know, chimichanga. So I don't know if, like, it's because I went to an airport. Or I don't know, like, what happened, but I um, didn't. That's the only time I ordered my chimichanga because I went to restaurants and they didn't have it on the menu. So I didn't end up getting, like, my chimichanga dream of trying the authentic version next time i have to go to like the capital or like to one of those sides where it's not like a turista turista side i did go to playa del carmen i went to cancun and playa del carmen was so much better okay friends overall this not impressive at all these were not impressive especially the chicken sandwich girl i thought it was gonna be spicy this had ghost pepper three layers i did as by my milk here mm -mm. this three out of ten in spice this with the Big Mac sauce. I know you most, like, no one is going to go out of their way and get, like, a Big Mac sauce just to have it with this. But this with the Big Mac sauce, it was so good. 
it like bumped up the level and then the chicken sandwich six out of ten in spice i'll give that i'll give it a five out of ten in general so far burger king still takes the lead with that spicy burger sandwich that they had i forgot what it was but they still take the lead and you guys heard that they're closing down 400 burger kings i honestly am not surprised I am not surprised. Like I said, I feel like the only thing keeping Burger King in business is their Whopper. If they didn't have that Whopper, I feel like they would have been left. Like, they would not be here. Okay, you guys, I am finished. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys so much for clicking and for staying as long as you did. If you say this song, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite thing from Wendy's is. Let me know what show that you're watching. Anything, leave it down below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave me any recommendations on what I should have next. I will hopefully be seeing you guys on the next video. Bye guys.